Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotac and with iOS 15 being fully complete, now that it's got all of the features that Apple actually announced at WWDC in 2021, now we're anxiously awaiting iOS 16 at WWDC 22. We expect invites for that probably as soon as next week where we'll have the actual dates for WWDC where we can expect things such as iOS 16 to be shown, watchOS 9, macOS 13 and so on. And so all of those things should be shown off then. And I want to go over the top five features we need to see, or Apple should bring to iOS 16. Now, the first thing is a redesign. The icons have been flat for many years. In fact, Apple redesigned iOS in 2013. It's been eight or nine years at this point since we've had a full redesign. That's the longest time. I think we've seen Apple really not redesign something completely in a long time. So the overall usability seems to be fine, but the overall icons and everything are quite stale at this point. They do keep changing the color of the music icons and small little changes here and there. But at this point, it's been a long time since we've had a full redesign. And I think that's something Apple should do. The next thing is something I hear every single day, pretty much. When is Apple going to bring iOS multitasking or split view to iPhone. So we already have picture in picture. So if you have maybe YouTube premium or something else, you can actually use picture in picture, move it around your display, slide it off to the edge, but we don't have split screen multitasking where we could have this in a bottom window, maybe with messages at the top and be able to text back and forth while watching this at the same time without it interfering on the screen. So that's something I think a lot of people would welcome. We've had it on the iPad for many, many years. And at this point, I think it's time for Apple to bring it to iOS. We thought it would be here with iOS 15. We never saw it. So hopefully they'll bring it with iOS 16. The next thing is a new wallpaper picker. This is something we thought we'd have a long time ago with some additional theming options as well. We got some theming ability from the previous version of iOS, but now we want a new wallpaper picker that has some theming options as well. This is something Dongle Book Pro shared quite a long time ago, back in 2020. And this is what we thought was coming to iOS, where we would have the option to change the appearance of iOS and the wallpaper, and then have a few different options. And you'll see it's from iOS 13. This is something we thought they were going to release, People were pretty confident, but it was never released. So to have something like this that organizes iOS 13 and classic stripes and more, that would be something that I think a lot of people would welcome and would make it easier to organize wallpaper, maybe allowing Apple to bring back some old wallpaper so we could organize them all the way back to the originals, as I know a lot of people would really, really like that. Now, with the introduction of widgets, a lot of people love the idea, but complained that you can't do anything with them. So with the weather widget, it just shows you the weather and shows you a couple bits of information, whether it's sunny, what the high and low for the day is. Of course, you can go into that and see more information, but that's all it does. The same is true with the music widget. So here we're seeing the last albums that were played. And maybe if we play something, let me just turn the volume down. We'll play that, go back to the home screen and it switches, but we have no interactivity, whether that be play or next or anything else. We can either do that through the control center or we'll have to do that from the lock screen. But for some reason we can't do it with the widgets. And I know a lot of people want us to have the ability to be able to directly interact with widgets. And I agree. This is something I think Apple has been planning for a long time. We just haven't seen them do it yet. We had widgets on Mac OS for years. You could interact with, I think it's time to bring it to iOS. One change I would love to see or addition Apple should make to iOS 16 has to do with the camera. The camera is great overall. It does a good job, but I really want to see some pro modes. Yes, there are third party apps that do this, but I would love some pro modes since now we have cinematic, we have video and photo and portrait and panoramic, but we don't have any specific mode for maybe small granular changes. So we have some options here where we can change it from 16, nine to maybe lock different things, but to have more granular control would be great. I think they will add this. Eventually we do have the option, like I said, in other third party apps. So Apple does give the option to those apps to allow you to adjust or manipulate it how you would like. But at this point, I would love to see them brought right to the app itself. It's getting close with raw and things like that, but we still don't have full control. And that's something I would love to see. We've seen this on other phones. I would love to see it here. 
Now the next thing has to do with battery and battery health. So if we go into the settings and go to battery and battery health, I've talked about this at length where it gives you a percentage. I would like the option to show just good or bad. Now this is controversial since some people say, well, I like a specific number, but the problem with a specific number is this is sort of a generalization based off what it thinks. It's not always a hundred percent accurate. So this could drop down to 98%. Then you install an update. It might drop again because it's recalculating that. And then maybe a few days later it goes back up. So this is sort of very hard to calculate. And that's why you don't see that in different cars, such as Tesla. They don't give you the battery health. They just say what your range is or what your charge is. It's something I think makes a little bit more sense in this case. And I would love it to say, okay, it's getting close to when you're going to need to replace the battery and then, okay, replace the battery. That's something I would love to see. Also, maybe more control over optimized battery charging. Some people like to keep their battery between 20 and 80%. You could have additional additional settings to allow you to do that down here. There's plenty of room, of course, for settings. Let's change that here. Another thing I would like to see is individual settings within apps. So this goes for the camera and other things, but inside the camera app, you can't go into all of the settings. You have to go back out to settings, then go all the way down to camera, then within the camera, you can change those settings, at least make a quick link to bring you here or something like that. That's another change I would love to see brought to iOS 16. Now, Apple should definitely really focus on stability this time around. iOS was always known for its stability, its reliability and its consistent battery life, regardless of the update. Apple has been pushing beta updates for many, many years. And even with those updates, we never really saw fluctuation in stability or battery life with the exception of early betas, because that's sort of early testing software. But when the public releases were ready, they were pretty solid with iOS 11. And then later on that sort of changed over time and unfortunately degraded a little bit. And then we saw some improvements with iOS 12 and it's gone back and forth ever since whether or not this requires Apple to fully rewrite everything to bring that stability and reliability back. is hard to say, but maybe in the near future with iOS 16, we'll see a major change where it's just incredibly stable again, overall, this is something I think would be very welcome and something we should see across all devices because sometimes with different iPhones, you get different results. Although most of the time you don't, but once in a while you will see odd things like that. So stability, I think would be priority number one. And then, maybe a redesign after that. That's something I would welcome, especially a new control center and much more. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. What would you like to see Apple change right away with iOS 16? Do you just want more stability and reliability or do you want a full redesign or more. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.